Seattle, the great northwestern city on Puget Sound, surrounded by the natural beauty of Washington's water, mountains, and evergreen forests. A city largely built with the fortitude of its timber industry and shipbuilding. Today, Seattle has developed into a major technology center with Boeing's home base as a center for aircraft manufacturing. Microsoft being established here and its founder Bill Gates, a Seattle native. Also, internet giant Amazon was founded here in 1994. Come with us as we explore the sixth largest city in the U.S., Seattle. No matter which direction you enter Seattle from, you cannot help but to admire its water scenery. Whether it's I-90 from the west or I-5 from the north or south, you will get a great view when you enter Seattle. Come with us as we explore Seattle. In this video, we are going to explore Seattle by car, bike, and boat and show you some things to do in Washington's largest city. Of course, the first thing you want to do in Seattle is to explore its iconic 520-foot landmark, the Space Needle. Well, it's always sunny in Seattle. It's just the clouds kind of obscure it, yeah. Nearly 20,000 people a day ride its glass elevators to the top from 8 a.m. to midnight. They do not allow dogs except for service dogs. And recently, in 2017, a renovation with two breathtaking, multi-level, floor-to-ceiling glass viewing experiences with an outdoor observation level with open-air glass walls. The loop just below the observation deck has a rotating glass floor. Tickets are about $44, which can be purchased online or at vending machines around the Space Needle. I recommend taking the monorail from the Westlake Center to the Space Needle. It's a great ride. We now move to the waterfront. You cannot do a video about Seattle without talking about its passionate love for its sports teams. So passionate, the fans for its Seahawks are known as the 13th man. The noise level in Century Link Field can be incredible. The baseball Mariners play in the adjacent stadium, T-Mobile Park. Speaking of the Mariners, Seattle loves its boats. You walk along the waterfront and you'll see why this city is such a great travel destination. We are going to give you a tour by bike and drone. A great place for fish and chips is Ivar's Fish Bar on Pier 54, where you can dine outdoors and join the birds along the Puget Sound. We continue on down to Pier 55. Of course, everywhere in Seattle, and really Washington and Oregon for that matter, there is a Starbucks. You may also see a superhero offering bike rides, or a clown blowing bubbles, or a snake, always entertaining. We then move to Pier 56 where you can sail out on Puget Sound on Argosy's cruise ship The Spirit of Seattle. Moving on to Pier 57, Miner's Landing, where you can get an elevated view of Seattle and Puget Sound aboard Seattle's Great Wheel. After we ride by the waterfront park, we arrive at the Seattle Aquarium. Near the ferry terminal, you see part of the old double-decker highway that once went across the waterfront, just recently replaced by the two-mile double-decker tunnel, the Alaskan Viaduct Tunnel. 
When visiting Seattle, a definite must-do is a trip across the Puget Sound on the Bainbridge Island Ferry, part of the Washington State Ferry System, currently the largest ferry system in the United States. You do not need a reservation, nor can you make one. It is a first come, first served. On this day, for one passenger, it was $19 for the trip from Seattle to Bainbridge and $17 for the return trip. If you are without car, just a walk-on passenger, you are only charged for the trip from Seattle to Bainbridge and the return trip is free. A ferry leaves the Coleman Dock about every 45 minutes at 801 Alaskan Way in Seattle. They run from about 5 a.m. to midnight. I was also amazed at the cafe on board. Plenty of food options. Soup or chili for the sometimes cold Seattle weather to warm you up. Now, of course, this is Seattle, and there has to be a coffee shop on board. Even if you don't want to wait in line for coffee, you also have a coffee vending machine as well. It is an 8.6 mile trip across the Puget Sound to the city of Winslow on Bainbridge Island. The trip takes about 35 minutes. It is just long enough to really take in the view, but yet doesn't take too much time. There are many things to do on Bainbridge Island. Polsbo's historic Little Norway is one of Kitsap Peninsula's favorite and most popular destination for visitors of all ages and interest. Stroll down Front Street to explore galleries, museums, and shops or dine in one of several waterfront restaurants for a bite to eat overlooking the marina and waterfront park. If you want some of the best fish and chips in the world, check out JJ's Fish House. Get ferry schedules and more at BainbridgeIsland.com. There are so many things to do in Seattle, not enough time to cover it in one video. I didn't want to leave. I hope you have enjoyed this tour of one of America's great travel destinations. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We shoot travel promos across the USA. For licensing and stock footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. Thank you for watching.